All right, people, Big Ed here. Um, I'm going over my uh, to-do list for this uh, 76 uh, Ironhead Sportster. I got to look for my pegs. I got some pegs. One of these boxes or it's probably out there in the other sh little shed over there. I got to get the pegs out. I test fitted the uh, exhaust to make sure there was clearance. And I don't think the exhaust is going to be a problem. As far as the back wheel goes, I think I'm going to go with this style rim instead of a drum brake. So I may try to see if I can take that tire off that rim put on here or else I'll just buy one and I have to get a sprocket and a rotor or a sprocket and a rotor one of them ways um, that's going to el eliminate having to get a longer rod I'm going to save that rod in this wheel um, a couple weeks we got the uh, swap meet over in Norman Beach coming up I'm going to be looking for a seat for it I've got a gas tank over there on the table right there um Right now, I'm going to be running these handlebars. But it, the handlebars, you know, you can always change down the road if I don't like them. Because uh, I don't know if these are going to be too far in or not. We'll see. I like them because they're different. I've, I've never seen any like these. Um, I got to get a longer chain. I got to figure out what size sprocket I'm getting first and then uh, figure out the chain part. So I'm going to be looking for a seat over the, in, in a couple weeks. The front wheel I'm going to leave like that. I'm not going to run a brake in the front. That's another reason why I want to go with a disc brake instead of that drum brake. I, I've never run a drum brake, but I heard they're not that great. So I'll be, like I said, I'm either going to sell that wheel or put it back in the shed back there and just hold on to it. Um, I've got a figure out the battery box and an oil tank. I have an oil tank but the inlet where you put the oil is right under the it's one of them oil tanks with it right in the middle. I need one with it on the end here. So the oil tank I'll be selling. Um, I've got a gasket, engine gasket kit so I'm be putting the starter in here pretty soon. Well, hello. How you doing, Mama? But uh, well, I found that top motor mount. It'll be right there. I've got an ignition switch. I got everything pretty much. It's all a matter of uh, the hard. The hardest part right now is going to be the 
figuring out the battery box. I think they make one that you can bolt to these. Uh, it's got a bracket that bolts to these two bolts right here for your motor mount. And I think it also has a um, tab on it for the fender. And that's the third thing. So I got to get a seat, a fender, and a longer chain. And I think I have pretty much everything else. Um, I got to do the wiring up on it. I got the exhaust. Oh, I have to get a battery too. But, um, yeah, I'm going to look into the battery box and the oil tank. Anyways, that's my to-do list on the 76 Ironhead. Peace out, people.